let's move on to our next step which is doing the multivariate analysis multiple variables versus the target variable what is the impact to so to show multiple visualizations at one place definitely you need to create a dashboard you want to see their interaction effect if age is in this band you can select that as a filter and if there is heart disease you can select that as a filter and if there is hypertension bp you can select that as a filter then you can see what happens to the stroke rate whether it increases or decreases so you have to create a dashboard which has all these factors inside in one place and they should be interacting with each other okay that is known as a dashboard first of all before getting into this dashboard we have to plan our dashboard we have to come up with those segments those customer segment they have very high chance to be stroke come up with those segments they have very less chance to be stroke so here is a secret or a shortcut that i'm giving you before getting into the dashboard you can plan your dashboard like this what you can do is you create multivariate analysis okay multivariate analysis in this what you can do is before you even create a dashboard try to create a a matrix or a cross tab or a simple table okay let's not create a new table let's take a table from the previous ones the reason why i take the table from the previous ones is it is already formatted at least the formatting part is taken care of okay i've taken this table what i'll do is i will add all the features and i compare the stroke rate finally okay so count of id let us keep count of id percent of total that also i'll remove so what i'll do is i'll add one by one risk factor one okay risk factor one and if a customer or if a patient has bp or not instead of sum of bp don't do summarization bp or not and whether they have heart disease or not it's don't do summarization just don't summarize okay and then take count of ids now id that need to be taken as count so what i can tell you from this table is people with high age and hypertension is uh, zero and then heart disease is zero these many people are there now finally what you need to do is get the stroke instead of saying instead of sum of stroke let us take that as stroke rate if i see stroke rate now this is the one that we are looking for and the stroke rate do the conditional formatting on it show value as or conditional formatting do the icons and the icons should be in reverse order low means good higher stroke rate means bad and what you can do is you can arrange it sorted based on this okay so if you sort it like this 21 percent is the stroke rate in which segment here is a segment high age hypertension heart disease there are 57 people 21 percent of them or the other one is even if there is no BP, if they are high age, heart disease is there, 174 people are there, 19%. Almost one out of five are getting stroke. Almost one out of five are getting stroke. This one must appear on your dashboard. On your dashboard, you will be highlighting age factor. You will be highlighting hypertension factor. You will be highlighting the heart disease factor. You have to highlight them. Make sure that on your final dashboard, these factors are mentioned. Contrary to that, low stroke rate who are those low age low hypertension no heart disease or even though when there is heart disease when they do not have any bp or when they are not having any i mean when they are less age then also there is a very less chance of getting stroke these are the ones that we want to highlight so before getting into a dashboard you must plan your dashboard you have to find out the this is a table which has all the segments in it from here, we need to create a beautiful visualization because this table is not that easy to explain. Somehow, the point that we want to explain, people should automatically get it. Our business partner 
should not spend more than 3 4 seconds or maximum 10 seconds to get full story very easily they should understand what are the main factors that are causing stroke so how do you do that that is by using a dashboard so on the dashboard we have to plan a few things we want to show the overall stroke rate now that overall stroke rate can be an, shown as a number or a pie chart or a there is something called gauge chart where it, the stroke rate will show as one number like a, a gauge or a speedometer kind of thing and according to our analysis what are the most important ones age hypertension heart disease these are very important factors somehow we need to keep them on the dashboard and their interaction need to be shown and some of the things which have outliers maybe using violin plot or box plot you can show the presence of outliers there are some places or there are some patients with unusual bmi there are some patients with unusual glucose level do you remember them there are some outliers do you remember that average glucose level unusual glucose level unusual bmi has been seen for some patients outliers are found maybe if you want to highlight that you can highlight that too and definitely the interaction of this interaction effect means what multivariate effect age along with hypertension along with heart disease what is the cause it is what is the major impact that also need to be shown on the dashboard so let us get started with the dashboard let us first plan it and then we will proceed let's get started with the dashboard let us start with a blank canvas this is our canvas later on i'm going to tell you how to increase them and there are some canvas settings as well you can change the type and all that we will get to them later on as of now you can take this blank canvas as it is then start by including the name okay so insert the text box where is the text box insert the text box and then put the title what is the title stroke causes and risk factors stroke causes and risk factor analysis risk factors risk factors or risk factor analysis and then we have to format this obviously we have to take this and uh, increase the font size to 14 or 16 that is also not sufficient 28 and then keep it in the middle maybe i would like to try georgia not good now this is up to you the formatting and uh, all the how what color and all that that is up to you later on we will get to them as well okay so let's rename this this is the one that really matters to us dash board until now whatever we have created those are all for our understanding but from here on what are we going to create that is for the user the final user will see this dashboard let us plan the dashboard so let us put some cards on it this is called a card so here i will show the stroke rate okay overall stroke rate let us plan it like these cards can be shown for showing the values that you have so i'll show the stroke rate here and then uh, i'll show the you know heart disease rate you know and then uh, hypertension rate if there's anything else like the number of patients and all that that can also be shown that is the univariate one that i am planning as of now on the it is up to people whatever they can do like the dashboard final formatting can be you know up to people so generally what i plan is you know i keep these for the cards usually and this is the place where i keep for filters you can select a particular filter and see the effect on stroke and other factors and usually this is the one that i show the critical info whatever is the final critical information those graphs and those visualizations i keep in the middle so that the user will directly see this the point that we are trying to convey will be right in the middle that is the critical information and here you can fill some more values maybe bivariate or univariate analysis or continuous variables analysis some here you are showing the numbers or the cards here you can show univariate analysis we were talking about outliers in some of the variables right 
that can be included here. So that's the plan that we have. Let us start one by one. Okay. Later on, we can change that. At least we should have some idea before getting into creating that dashboard. Dashboard creation requires a lot of experience. With experience, you will uh, create even more attractive, beautiful dashboards. But we have to start somewhere. Let us get started. Okay. So first and foremost thing, the most important one is stroke rate. Overall stroke rate is 4.87%. Beautiful. That is fine. Okay. That is a stroke rate. Usually, this is the default one, but generally I don't like to see this one. Let us do a little bit of formatting, okay? So go to this one, format your visual, category label, stroke rate, switch it off. I will create the category label by myself, okay? Go to general and then title should be on. In the title, here is what I'm going to write, stroke rate stroke rate is what I'm writing and uh, a little bit better heading is what I want to have and that should be in the middle and uh, background color as of now I'm leaving the background color as it is because the color coding we need to follow certain style then it will look good okay if you want to know what color suits best for what okay and then this font also I'll increase now, let's say if you're randomly choosing some colors, we are not that good at designers. Maybe you can be a good data scientist, but that design thinking what color goes well with what color. Now, that is a different skill set hold together. A lot of things look good to us, but universally accepted color codings are better to have. So there are some websites where, you know, the colors that go well together the colors that gel well together we can take that color palette we can search for that color palette so there is a website called what is that website color on color on this is the one color ion color ion whatever it is C O L O R color ion color ion what it gives is it gives the set of colors that go well together that gel well together this one i liked it okay this one also not bad but we ourselves we will not be able to come up with this combination of colors we ourselves we will not be able to come up with this combination of colors because these are created by you know designers they study what colors go well with what colors so from here let us pick uh, this one this one i liked it so let us get these colors okay we will make a note of those colors and then check them okay so color i on so type it c o l o r i o n color i on so search for it color i on and then click on it this is the one so how do you use these colors okay so go to that info now that these are the colors these are the colors rgb or hex and all that so when you are creating a dashboard, only refer to these colors. Play around with these colors only consistently. Then your dashboard looks good. So instead of selecting any color in the background, okay, instead of selecting any color in the background, try to play with these colors, the colors that are given here. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to take, let's say this color in the background. So take this one go to our dashboard my background color should be more colors and put it here that's it that is a color and what should be the stroke rate now that is in white color so what color i want to keep it there let's say if i go here let me put red so what they are saying is these colors go well together okay even you are not convinced if you're not convinced with these colors, you can go with a different color combination. It's a huge website. Several color combinations are there. Every company have their own colors. If you're working for a company, if your client is giving you color combination, then well and good. Otherwise, you can follow this and you can blindly think that definitely these colors work well together. Okay. Definitely they work well together. They go well together. Okay. So this is the stroke rate. In fact, you can do one more one as well select that card and then uh, go to format go to that 
general you can add a shadow effect if you want to okay your visual border is on shadow is on that looks a little professional but if you don't like shadow you can ignore that okay so as of now i will delete the rest of the ones i'll try to copy paste the same so that i can avoid all this coloring thing okay this formatting i will not really discuss a lot because this formatting if you keep on experimenting with it you will get better and better at it okay then i am showing the heart disease rate here so how do you show the heart disease rate so go to this uh, how do you show this heart disease rate for that you need to create like the way you have created stroke rate you have to create heart disease rate measure let us create that measure so let us create heart disease rate from there from stroke rate itself we can copy paste this formula create a new measure so that new measure instead of stroke rate i would call that as heart disease rate heart heart disease rate sum of risk factor table stroke instead of stroke that will be heart disease so let us take this one smoking status now what is it heart disease and all the columns that should be fine so if you say okay now i'll come here instead of stroke rate i would like to have it as heart disease rate heart disease rate this one and i would like to show that as a percentage that measure has to be percentage 5.38 percent and the title need to be updated isn't it it's not stroke rate it is heart disease rate okay so i'll go to general title title is heart disease rate heart disease rate heart disease rate okay got it the next one what is the next one that we have planned the next one is once you are done with stroke rate heart disease rate the third one is hypertension rate how many people have hypertension how many people do not have hypertension so out of all the people stroke 5% of the people have 5.38% is 5.38% of the people have heart diseases how many people have bp so that also from this formula only we will try to get that is bp rate let me call that as bp rate let's create a new measure i'm calling that as hypertension rate or bp rate hypertension hypertension rate or bp rate so instead of heart disease i would like to call that as hypertension not heart disease it has to be hypertension h hypertension then say okay now the third card will be hypertension rate okay so i'll click on the third card and delete that and then put hypertension rate and then make it as a percentage how do i make it as a percentage click on that measure measure tools and then percentage at the top you see the percentage and uh, the name of this need to be updated go to the title the title is hypertension rate hypertension rate okay that's it so three major cards are created the remaining cards we will see later on okay apart from the stroke rate as a number we can also show it like a visual so let me show it like a visual like because not everybody is very well versed with numbers or like people don't like to see numbers they want they get they get attracted with visuals okay so what i'll do is i'll get this and then uh, created the donut chairs put it as legend as stroke and then uh, stroke is zero non-stroke is one and the value is ids 
okay count of ids that is it people with stroke without stroke these many people are having stroke these many people are not having stroke again these are default colors the colors need to be changed so let us do the formatting legend i don't want the legend okay I don't want data labels. Data labels are also not required. Directly, we'll get to know. Even the title also, I don't require. Title also not there. Because anyway, stroke rate, these two are connected to each other. So the upper one, below one, the title is stroke rate. And this chart is actually connected to that one. You can also create a gauge chart also. But this one, I generally prefer people understand this better. Okay. And this is blue and dark blue. These are the colors. But we will go to our color palette isn't it our color palette is different so let's go to our color palette let me put red and thick red or orange and thick red okay in the place of so slices light blue will be more colors and this one and the dark blue will be my purple okay because we want to select the colors according to our color palette. This is our color palette. You can change that as well, but let us follow one color palette, okay? Now let us add some cards for the filters, okay? Let us create one by one filter. So where is this filter? This is called filter. Click on a blank space and then put filter one for one variable and then Control C, Control V, and so on. You can put some places for filters. Okay. So let us start with the first filter. My first filter will be risk factor one. That will be the first filter. Okay. And you can further format this risk factor one filter as well. How do you format it? So go here, go to this slicer settings. And instead of vertical, generally horizontal looks good. Okay. So this is high risk, low risk age. And then uh, in fact, risk factor one, I'm turning off the title. So instead of this title, let me have that as age, okay? Yeah. And then uh, this title, I will switch it off. Risk factor one that is shown as I think header or something. That one I'll switch it off. Let us see how it is done. Slider header off. Then look at this. And even this one, I'll keep it in the middle. The title is in the middle. Now these are small, small changes. You can also do it like, or you can skip these as well. Text color, again, it has to be part of our color palette already the colors that you have selected are part of this one you can select something from here bold okay this is the one okay fine that is the first filter high risk age stroke rate changes low risk age stroke rate changes high risk low risk that is one filter then clear selection similar to this, filters need to be added. The second filter that I want to add is heart disease. The third one is, can you check what is the third filter that we were thinking? The second one is heart disease based. The third one is hypertension based BP. So the second filter instead of risk factor one, the second filter is heart disease. Now heart disease takes actually three values. What are the values? that heart disease takes blank, zero, and one. These are the three values it takes. Actually, you can remove this blank, but I intentionally kept it because sometimes we know the patients have heart disease. Some patients do not have heart disease. This blank is almost like NA, which we don't know. That's why I kept that. So we, we can also check that detail. Now the title need to be changed. The title is not age, actually. It is heart disease. That is the title. This is the filter title. And the third filter is now, even if you have heart disease, stroke rate changes. If you do not have heart disease, stroke rate changes. And then you can click anywhere outside or you can click on this and say clear selections. Okay. Now the third filter is on, uh, what is the third filter? Hypertension. So I will take it on hypertension. 
and then I change as usual. I'll adjust this slightly so that I can see three of them. Make sure that filters are, are of same size. Maybe I'll just reduce it a little bit. I want that filter and this filter to appear almost similarly. Okay, yes. And this is also off. I'll give you a trick. How do you make sure that all of them are on the same alignment or not? That we will see a little later. So this one is not age. The title should be go to general title. The title should be hypertension or BP. Hypertension. Again, if hypertension is there, then stroke rate increases. Hypertension along with heart disease, along with high risk age, that is too high, okay? Then you clear these filters, clear selections, clear selections, clear selections, okay? Those are the filters. You can also add extra filters if you like to generally we haven't found any other patterns apart from this, but if you want to add a filter on BMI, that is also fine. So you create a new filter and put BMI. BMI is a continuous variable, so you can select it like a range here. As usual, what you need to do? This one also, you need to format. Let us see whether this format painter can somehow help us or not, okay? This is the one I'm just checking. I'm just trying whether format painter helps us. Yeah, it has wiped off the title and all that, but title has let us keep it on and then say BMI. Yep, that worked. Format painter has worked. And then apart from BMI, what else is there? Average glucose level. Instead of BMI, the title is go to general title, average glucose level. That's it. These are all the filters. What happens if BMI increases or decreases? What happens if average glucose level increases, decreases? That interaction effect also we can see. Those are the filters that we have planned. Okay. Now come to the middle area. Okay. What we will do here is we will try to create a new table. We want to show the multiple interaction effect. We want to show two, three factors. That means we want to show age as well as stroke rate, heart disease like that. We want to show multiple interactions. So first let us start with a table. Okay. In that table, I would like to have age and its interaction with heart disease, okay? Age and heart disease, we know that is a very big issue along with stroke rate. Now, I would not like to have them summarized. Don't summarize age, don't summarize heart disease. Stroke rate is fine, okay? This is how it looks like. Now, what you need to do is, this is just a table, this table, nobody gets impressed with this table you can create something called ribbon chart out of it. Okay, check this out, ribbon chart. Then we can see what are the findings out of that ribbon chart, okay? What does this ribbon chart do? Let us see, okay? What is it trying to tell us? It is trying to tell us on the x-axis, you have age on the y-axis, you have stroke rate on the legend, if you see the legend, that is the heart disease. So heart disease, zero versus one. When people have heart disease on the y-axis, you have stroke rate. The larger the bar, the bigger the bar, it indicates that the stroke rate is high. So when you are far away, like this is low age. Look at this, all of you. Age is increasing. Then as age is increasing, stroke rate is increasing. And especially when people have heart disease, which is indicated by one, there the stroke rate is really high. So we have to highlight the fact that stroke rate is really high in those candidates where age is near to this number and heart disease is one. 
that is where the stroke rate like there are seven candidates here and almost a lot of them got heart disease like that like here you have the number of candidates so the marks that are in orange color those are the ones very very lethal ones because the stroke rate is very high over there again the colors need to be changed that you know the ribbon colors need to be changed because those ribbon colors are default colors and we have to take our palette again i will leave it up to you you don't need to really change it every time but let us go to our palette uh, blank i am leaving it as it is and then zero versus one so i would like to put zero as this one one is take one okay this is zero this is zero and the one is anywhere here that is one now it is up to you if you want to make any changes to this that is perfectly fine go here ribbons ribbon color if you want to really show that zero as green color that is also fine because these colors are proven they go well together so there is nothing odd in all this because they are given by the experts okay that is also fine or i like this one better okay or let me make this as thick this one as nice one anything that you like you keep it okay now the title let us adjust that title let's keep that title in the middle you can also add that title bar and all that but uh, you can change that color also but is up that is up to your patience like you can make it like there is no ending to this isn't it visualizations you can make it as beautiful as you want now what i'll do is usually what i generally tend to do is i, I tend to add a shadow somehow i like that uh, style so you add a border and shadow that gives you a good effect okay so background is on border is on shadow is on that somehow i feel that that looks little good in fact if you want to analyze this if you take high risk age you check that stroke rate is high or uh, ignore this one clear selection if you want to analyze only heart disease these are the ones heart disease yes okay or clear selection so high risk age these are the ones where there is like the dark ones are the ones where there is very high rate of stroke okay what is the second graph that we want to show a similar graph is what i want to show or a different graph like it is up to us not every time we have to create a different graph so here in this one i want to show a different interaction what is the other one that we were talking about one is age versus heart disease versus stroke that is one multivariate effect the other multivariate effect is age versus heart disease uh, instead of heart disease hypertension so that is another effect that i want to show so here age versus the hypertension is the legend that i am taking this time instead of using this chart i can put another chart also either you can put this chart if you feel this is repetitive you can use stacked column chart that is also not bad or uh, what is this column cluster so you can use this chart also that is also not bad or this chart that is also not bad out of these two the reason why i'm giving you a totally different chart is the one that is giving you telling you the perfect story go with that one again i'll go here and change our colors because colors are the ones that will finally appear on our dashboard so i'll go to that uh, where are you changing the colors columns the colors zero no heart disease is orange yes there is heart disease is this one so basically we want to show that these darker ones are the ones that we need to focus on this is not by hypertension this the second one is the title is stroke rate by age and then what is the second one this is hypertension oh it's already changed is it how come have I changed it? Well, this is hypertension related. This is heart disease one, right? Let me check that title. Title is age and heart disease. Okay. Age and heart disease. Perfect. 
now these are the multiple interactions again you can show them like say if there is hypertension then it looks like these people with hypertension some of them have age look at their stroke rate is very high okay these are the visualizations we can add a few more visualizations if you remember we plan to add one more continuous versus target average glucose level versus stroke though there is no impact even that is also one finding we can tell that there is no impact of uh, glucose level on the stroke rage okay that how do you show that you can show two violin plots or two box plots okay so let me draw that violin plot so what i'll do is i'll click here and then draw this and then average glucose level okay some or average average glucose level and then the sampling is id the category is stroke right category is stroke now these are the two violin charts okay what are they trying to tell us average glucose level by id and stroke let me change that large title i think the title is getting generated automatically so i would say average glucose level simple average glucose level versus stroke average glucose level versus stroke simple That's it. Average glucose level versus stroke. And let me put it. Let's uh, have the uh, middle aligned and bold. Okay. So here what we can say is when the glucose level is less, then there is, you know, people without stroke. Zero means without stroke. One means with stroke. In fact, we can change these colors, okay? If you want to, you can change these colors as well. So if you take this graph and if you take that category, then let us see whether that data colors can be changed or not, okay? Combo plot, legend. Format the title colors by category. Colors, where is colors? Can you see colors, data colors? All categories are given same color, but no, we want to have different colors by different colors, different colors for different categories. By category, the colors are changed. Now let us go to our palette, color palette. In the color palette, let's say stroke, no stroke is green, stroke is red. These are the two colors that I want to take. No stroke is green, stroke is red. So what I'm trying to say is people with stroke, this is the distribution of their glucose level, both low and high. People without stroke, most of them, their glucose level is low here. Check that out. Beautifully, it is coming out. People with stroke, their glucose level is less. People without stroke, their glucose level is, some of them have higher one. Let us try to recreate this with... Uh, Another variable, I'm just trying to copy paste this, control C, control V. Why the distribution has changed by mistake when we do some selection, sometimes that gets selected and the distribution changes, okay? But it's okay if it's a clear selection or something, then it works, yeah. Now here, instead of average glucose level, now I would like to take BMI. I would like to see how BMI varies. Let us take that as average, how BMI varies, okay? BMI is, this is the distribution of BMI. When there is no stroke, this is the distribution of BMI when there is stroke, but there is not much of difference in terms of BMI. So let us add the effect. What is it effect? Have a border, visual border and shadow. Let us have one more effect, visual border and shadow. Okay. These are the ones that we have. But from this, we can also do this one. All right. There is some space here. Let me reduce that space. 
okay does that look good let me also add an effect of general effects background shadow usually that shadow looks good but that's a personal choice all right then what else can we add what else can we add we can also add, let's say, if you're selecting low risk age or high risk age, how many people are there? Number of patients. If you want to see the number of samples also, you can add the sample size as well. Okay. So let's add one more card that is known as card. Click here. You have to click on a blank space, then add the card. Okay. This is simply the count. Okay. Simple. The count here. Count of ID. Again, how do I do that? Let me copy paste this one. Control C, Control V, and then so I'll say instead of hypertension rate, that will be count of IDs. Simply, I will call that as samples, number of samples, or number of patients, or sample size, sample size, that's it. Now, the one that really matters to me, one of the most important metric is this one. Let me highlight that because I want my viewers to focus on this number always. Okay. So let me highlight that. I would like to have a different background color. Okay. Or I want to have a slightly colored value. So right now the color is this one. The background color is, uh, which one is that background color? Where is the background color? Title is on, properties, effects, header icons, already text. Color is this one, display is auto, auto. How do we change the background color? Let's say this is the way that I change the color. The color, is it giving the effect that we are looking for? The stroke rate, because I want to really make it very much visible okay i want everybody to focus on that as soon as they see this particular dashboard title is on properties tool tips and all that where is that background color so let us change this one we want to make this really really glaringly visible so clear selection so take this one and then first i'll go to the title Okay, that color is fine. And then, or maybe the background is what I want to change. Go to effects. Right now, the background color is white. I want to make this one. Now, what I'll do is the values are the ones that I will change. That color is white. Is that glaringly visible? Is that working? Call out value, I'm making it as white. And the background, even the title also, I'll make the same things. Okay, title color is this one title color i'll make it as white background color is this one so stroke rate is something that i want everyone to focus on maybe again what i'll do i'll go to call out value the color should be somewhere this one or this one this is what i want everyone to focus on but it's up to you if you if it is perfectly fine if it is visible to everyone that is fine this is one thing and sample size is another one that i want to focus on Maybe the sample size is something that you want to focus on. Go to general and then go to effects and the background of that. Uh, you can keep it as gray. Let's go to our uh, color palette. What else is there in our color palette? This is also there in our color palette. Is there any gray in our color palette? It's not there. Mm, that's okay. We will take this and then more colors and then this one. So this is how it will look like, okay? So sample size is one thing that I want everyone to focus on. Stroke rate is one thing. Stroke rate is important. That is the one that I want to everyone to focus on. In fact, I can squeeze in one more number here. Age is very important factor. So I can also squeeze in average age if we would like to. So let me put exactly on the similar lines. I'll put average age here. So bring that here and then in between these two let me decrease the sample size one yeah that should be fine and then delete this and then put 
average age okay this looks perfectly in between now instead of hypertension rate i will take age and then instead of sum take the average and change the title how do you change the title go to general go to title and average age some of you might be finding it very difficult to navigate when you keep on working on this your uh, you know you will keep on You keep on improving on this it just requires practice that's it as you may have observed these are all very easy to understand if something is very easy to understand but if you're not able to do it it means that it requires just practice if you keep on practicing this you will be able to understand them later on you will be very intuitively getting them okay easily so this is a stroke rate heart disease and all that okay if you want to arrange all these then you can select all this okay uh, go to format you can align them. I want to distribute horizontally. So what you need to do is first, first select this one, keep whichever position it need to be, select this one, keep in the right position and then select all these five and then go to format, align, distribute horizontally. This option is there in Excel PPT as well. Now, if you want to align all these five in the same line, all these five in the same line, what you need to do is select all these five, if you think they are up and down, then you align middle. So all of them got aligned, okay? This is how you can create. This is your final dashboard. Now we have followed one color coding. I'll tell you one more way of, uh, you know, changing the colors. What you can do is you can save this first of all, don't lose the work and view. These are all the themes, okay? You can select different themes. Right now we are in the default theme. Sometimes if you change the theme, all of a sudden the graph looks or the chart looks so beautiful. See this, it looks good on our page, but when there is a background color, looks like these filters are somewhat touching. Yeah, that is still fine. But if you want to keep all of them in the same size, maybe you can increase the size of this filter and all that. That adjustment, I'm leaving it. This is one theme or this is another theme preset themes this is another theme the one that is attractive is the last one twilight looks good on most of the charts seems that it's not changing at all a lot of things frontier this is frontier or this one what is this one or you can select colorblind uh, safe there is one colorblind safe yeah, but anyway, we have picked our own colors, so they are not changing a lot. So we will go to our default one because we have picked the color palette carefully. But if you do not have any color palette, you can choose these ones. This is the dashboard that we have created. The story is in our mind now. The next step is presenting all these insights. We have created all of them. It's now time to present all these insights what are your final findings what are the key findings what causes what causes stroke what are the main driving factors that is where we want to finally get into let us give some insights out of this final dashboard that we have created so let's go to home save the dashboard our next step is giving the insights our dashboard is ready it's time to display some interesting patterns Let's try to play with the filters. Let us try different scenarios. Let us create different segments and show which segment causes stroke, which segment of the patients are not affected with stroke. That is our next step, presenting the insights, coming up with insights, telling the viewer where he should focus on. That's the next step. I'll see you on the other side.